Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Writing Practices. Today, we are going to learn how to write a friend character reference letter for Visa. What is a friend character reference letter for Visa? A friend character reference letter for a Visa is a formal letter, written by an individual to support a friend's Visa application. This type of letter serves to vouch for the applicant's personal character, trustworthiness, and suitability for international travel. It typically includes details about the relationship between the writer and the applicant, as well as specific examples of the applicant's positive qualities, such as responsibility, integrity, and respect for laws. The purpose of this letter is to provide additional evidence that the applicant will comply with the visa's terms and is a trustworthy candidate for travel to the destination country. Here, Writing Practices will show you how to write a friend character reference letter for Visa step by step. Check this out. First of all, you need to write your information as the sender. Here, you can begin by stating the sender's full name, address, email, and contact information. This will establish the identity and contact details of the person providing the reference. When you write the address, don't forget to include the number, street address, city, state, and zip code. After that, you need to write the date of the letter. It will indicate the date the letter is being written. Here, you need to write the full date by including the month, day, and year. For the next, write the recipient information. For a character reference, you may address the letter as, to whom it may concern, if the specific recipient's name is unknown. This also becomes a formal salutation in opening the letter. Address it to, to whom it may concern, as the visa authority may vary. In the first paragraph, which is introduction, you need to introduce the reason for writing this letter. Not only that, but also you need to explain your relationship to the applicant. Mention as well how long you have known the applicant, and provide a brief statement of their character. You need to write a sentence explaining you are writing to support the visa application of your friend, specifying the applicant's name and how long you've known them. And here is the example how you write the first paragraph. I am writing this letter to support the visa application of my close friend, Emily Johnson, whom I have known for the past seven years. During this time, Emily has shown herself to be a person of excellent character, integrity, and reliability. In the second paragraph, this is where you start to write about the background of the relationship. The purpose is of course to offer details about your relationship with the applicant. They are such as where and how you met, any shared experiences that demonstrate the applicant's character, and why you trust them. Sure you can describe how you met the applicant, like in college or at work for example. And specific examples of their positive traits, such as reliability, integrity, compassion and so on. And here is the example how you write the second paragraph. Emily and I first met in college, at the University of Illinois at Chicago, where we both volunteered at the Campus Community Center. It was there that I witnessed her dedication to helping others, her strong work ethic, and her ability to work well with people from diverse backgrounds. Emily's compassion, kindness, and openness, made her a beloved figure among our volunteer group. You can only write positive sides about the applicant since you are supporting the person. In the third paragraph, here is where you elaborate more about the applicant's character. Of course, you must elaborate on the applicant's character and personality traits that make them suited for the visa application. You can only focus on qualities like trustworthiness, responsibility, and cultural awareness. Besides, you can also discuss traits such as dedication, respect for others, and responsibility. And here is the example how you write the third paragraph. Since then, Emily has continued to demonstrate her admirable qualities. She is a responsible individual always following through on her commitments, and going above and beyond, to assist her friends and family. Emily is also very respectful of different cultures, and eager to learn about them. Which I believe, makes her well suited for international travel. In the fourth paragraph, this is where you write your support for the visa application. 
In this case, you can express your support for the applicant's visa application. By doing so, don't forget to mention the purpose of their travel and state your belief in their ability to comply with the visa's requirements. Yes, indicate your full support for the visa and the purpose of their travel, such as tourism, and confirm their understanding of the responsibilities that come with a visa. Here is the example how you write the fourth paragraph. I understand that Emily is applying for a visa to France, and I wholeheartedly support her application. Her purpose for visiting is tourism, and I am confident that she will be a positive representative of the United States during her stay. Emily is fully aware of the responsibilities that come with being granted a visa, and I have no doubt that she will adhere to all the rules and regulations set forth by France. In the fifth paragraph, now you need to write the travel details. Yes, you must provide specific details about the applicant's planned travel dates, complete with their activities during their stay. Why? Of course, this helps verify the applicant's intentions and timeline. You can write the dates and purpose of the trip, such as sightseeing or cultural exploration for example. And here is the example how you write the fifth paragraph. Emily is planning to stay in France from April 1, 2025, to April 15, 2025. And during her stay, she intends to explore the rich cultural heritage and history of various French cities. I believe this trip will be a wonderful opportunity for her to experience new cultures and broaden her horizons. In the last paragraph, you will write the closing statements. Simply, you can summarize your recommendation and your belief in the applicant's character. Yes, you can also politely ask that the visa application be considered favorably. In doing so, you need to restate your confidence in the applicant and kindly request positive consideration of their visa application. For example, you may write something like, In conclusion, I believe that Emily Johnson is a trustworthy and upstanding individual, who would greatly benefit from the opportunity to travel to France. I kindly ask that you consider her visa application favorably. Not only that, still in the same paragraph, you can also offer for further contact. In other words, you need to provide your contact information and invite the recipient to reach out if they need further information, or maybe they have any questions about the applicant's character. You need to make sure that the recipient understands that you are available for further discussion if needed. Don't forget to provide your phone number and email. Here is the example how you write it. Should you require any further information or wish to discuss Emily's character further, please do not hesitate to contact me at 312-557-890 or david.smith at email.com. And for the closing, you may thank the recipient for their consideration. Simply, you may write something like, thank you for considering this reference letter. And finally, you can close the letter with a sincerely. Add your signature and write your full name under it. So, that's how you write a friend character reference letter for Visa. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.